Good morning, everyone. Today, we are growing potatoes Mark Watney style. As soon as I saw the movie uh, The Martian, I thought uh, the way he... Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen it, go watch the movie and then come back. Um, I thought the way that he grew potatoes is actually pretty cool. And I know it's all like theoretical and, uh, and make-believe it's a movie, but it is still a cool concept. So what I did is I went to the grocery store, got some potatoes, let them sit in my cupboard forever until they kind of went to seed or sprouted or whatever you want to call them. And we're going to plant those today, and we're going to grow them in a hydroponic medium, and I'm going to grow them inside in my little uh, grow tent setup here, and see what we get over time. So let's get into it. So here's my little hydroponic grow tent. Uh, like I said, I, st I started with little fluorescent lights on a shelf, and finally grew up to this when I started getting heavy into it as a hobby. So uh, that's what we're going to use today. And I got my potatoes. You can see all gross and gnarly looking. And I'm just going to cut the sprouts off and we're going to plant eight plants in total um, which once they get fairly sizable that uh, that should be a pretty pretty full canopy for the you know 80 percent of my little grow tent I'm using there and here I'm just kind of deciding on how much potato to leave I don't know I've never done this before I'm not a potato planter but um, there's my buckets there's plastic buckets they have some hydrotin pellets which is expanded clay in the bottom uh, just to kind of help with uh, drainage um, and then I'm filling them with a mix of uh, coconut husk and perlite, uh, cocoa coir and perlite mix, about half and half. And it's an inert media, means it has no nutrients in it, so you have to provide the nutrients with your watering. Um, so we'll see how this goes. I'm, I was planning on hand watering it, but you can see I'm starting, or I'm, later in the video you'll see this system I'm developing to try to auto automate the process. And this is part of it, this is just going to be a water diverter, it's a 4 inch ABS end cap. And I'm going to make it basically into an 8 way diverter. So you can see uh, in the center I've drilled a single hole where the water will come up and around the outside I have eight holes which will run feeder lines to all the little plants. And then I'm going to use an aquarium air pump to pressurize that big water bottle there and that'll force the air down in the bottle, the water out of the bottle, into my little water diverter and hopefully to every plant. This is super just proof of concept right now. I have no idea if it's going to work so uh, I'm not spending a ton of time on it. Uh, just, just something to mess around with. Um, I hate watering, so <laughs> the more I can automate, the better. And I got a million timers, so uh, that's the way of hydroponics, right? You don't want to sit around and baby it. Um, so here I'm testing if it works, and it actually, I found that water came out of it, and it actually had a decent amount of head pressure to pump water up decently high, so uh, I think it'll work. Um, so I carry on through with it here. With this medium, it dries out fairly quickly, so you probably want to water it two to three times a day. Uh, I've done it in the past. You can get away with one watering a day. Um, and once the plants start to bush out, they kind of protect the, uh, the medium a little better and you don't dry out as quick. So, um, But potatoes are fairly nutrient heavy plants, so uh, we'll see, we'll see. It's all learning experience. I have no idea if this is going to work, uh, but it's, like I said, something, uh, something to mess around with here while there's three feet of snow on the ground outside and I, I can't do any gardening outside. And those sunglasses are actually specific for uh, metal halide bulbs or high pressure sodium bulbs. Um, so they're not just to look cool, they actually protect my eyes, but I do feel like a gangster wearing them, but not really. So anyways, here I'm feeding all the little airlines in. I've tried to make them all the same length uh, to hopefully let the water flow at the same rate. Uh, didn't quite work out as planned, but eh, like I said, something to, something to play with, and it's it'll be ever-growing, it'll be ever-evolving, because um, potatoes don't grow instantly, so i got lots of time to iterate here. You can see I turned the pump on, got the little thing filled up. It actually pumps a lot, or a decent amount of water for just a little bit of air pressure. Um, and I can't quite get all the feeder lines to feed correctly, but like I said, that's a problem for another day. Um, just more of, more of a proof of concept right now. So next up, we'll take all those little potato ears or eyes or whatever you want to call them that we cut up and put them in the dirt. I'm going to put two per bucket, um, which should give enough room once they grow. And they're really low in the bucket, only about two inches off the bottom. So that as they grow, I'll just keep piling that uh, medium around them and uh, hopefully get more roots, more tubers, and more potatoes. Give them a good watering to start off with here. Nothing, no nutrient yet, and we'll go from there. Anyways, that's about the gist of it. Uh, the more technical details. This is the first bulb we're running. Just a cheapie that I bought on eBay. Uh, happy with it so far. 600 watt metal halide, no bulb in there. Um, some pH and uh, total dissolved solids. So checking your PPM of nutrient, ra nutrient ratios. And then here's our um, hyper sodium bulb, uh, 600 watt as well. We might swap to that later on, you know, 
five weeks in or four weeks in or something like that, and it helps simulate kind of the fall sun, which promotes um, vegetables and fruits to go to seed. And that's usually what you end up eating. So that's that. We'll go over more details, like I said, as we progress through the series. It's not going to be a fast series. I think, best case scenario, I'll have potatoes in six to seven weeks. Um, and other than that, we we'll just see what happens. Maybe I'll have just a gross, rotting mess in a month, or I don't know. So, uh, But I'll keep you updated, and uh, we'll carry on with weird projects. So I will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.